What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews and it has been a long time coming. We are going to be seeing once again The Promised Neverland Season 2. I know this is a little bit late. This came out I believe six hours ago uh, from the time I'm recording this and it's just due to the fact that I have been at work and unfortunately for it comes out on Wednesday my day um, and just due to me working later on into the afternoon I don't have the time to actually upload this as soon as as early as I would like it to, but I have been absolutely looking forward to this series um, and the uh, and the continuation of it, not the conclusion, the continuation of this series. I have loved, I have absolutely loved the Promised Neverland. I think it is one of the most well executed uh, visual and like mental gymnastics that are going on. Uh, and I thought it was great. It reminded me almost like the mental gymnastics of Death Note in a certain type of sense. I know it's probably a bad analogy, but this show has been absolutely great. I have absolutely loved the show, and I can't wait to see where this is going to be. A lot of people have been saying that the ending of this series, whoever read the manga, it's not the best. It's not the strongest. However, what happens is that um, a lot of... It felt rushed, was basically it, and I don't know anything about the ending. I haven't read a single thing. I realized, I was like, you know, this show was probably going to be popular enough where, I, in both sides where it was popular in Japan and in overseas, um, that it was probably going to get a second season. Lo and behold, it did take a little bit, I believe two years, but we finally got it. Um, and I am absolutely looking forward to this, starting off 2021 strong at least in the anime scene <laughs> but i have been absolutely looking forward to this I, how do i feel it's going to start off it's going to start off immediately right where the season one ended with all the kids outside of the handful of smaller kids um and i believe phil was is basically going to be the new leader of that small group of kids for the time being um while the rest uh emma and the rest of them emma ray and all the other ones go out and basically survive while Phil stays with Isabella. And I'm curious if we're going to be seeing some scenes with them back at the camp. Um, or whether or not we're just not going to see them again. I wonder if Isabella is going to play a role. Um, but judging from the promo art, we are going to be... I'm assuming we're going to be seeing some side from the aliens or whatever these things are. Uh, they're alien because we don't know what they are. Uh, so I'm going with that. See, these, like, demonic-looking beast, skeleton-looking things. We don't know much about them. We only saw them in the very first episode, and I believe we saw one that killed... Oh my gosh, what's her name? Um, the, the sister. Uh, the older sister. Crone. Uh, Crone. Uh, when they killed her. And then at the very last episode, when they got the notification that children had escaped. And we had saw some sentries. And... All of that had been just thrown. It like episode 12, 11 and twelve it were just a nonstop roller coaster, um, and people keep on saying that the show continue, the series continues to get better and better. Uh, apparently, more than likely, uh, from what a comment, uh, so someone had made a comment on a video when I was talking about this, saying that the best arc, which I don't know what it is, some uh, golden pond. I, I might be completely wrong. Um, but there is an arc that is considered the best arc. We are probably not going to even get it this season. So, but I did hear that this series continues to be really good up until that arc. And then it dips a little bit. But I mean, once you hit a, the best arc, everything pales in comparison. But I'm ready to jump into this. I'm ready to jump into the series. Um, hopefully this is going to be as good as the first season. Um, and I, I, I have, I have no doubts that it's going to be. So without further ado, let's jump in to the Promised Neverland season two, episode one, starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. Okay, so we are. Yep, we are starting off exactly where um, season one ended. really dark oh it's good seeing these kids again <laughs> that is not a game attack that is dear god run for your lives holy shit that's nightmare fuel Ooh, 
Opening. I personally think the season one opening is absolutely great. So let's see how this compares. All of them in their graduation uniforms. There's a tall person in that mix. Like, I know we're going to be seeing other kids. Like, that definitely branches out when we see other kids from other camps or maybe just some who either escaped or just were never in, uh, inducted in the camps in the first place. Good song, good visuals. I prefer the first opening. Looks like they were able to escape it, or we're doing media res. Okay, this probably is media res. This looks like a bug dragonfly. Fish. F fish dragonfly. Yeah, this is definitely before they were running... I'm assuming, running from that alien thing. I, farm, I, I kept on saying camp, farm, camp, same shit. It's not. Yes. She's, look, she's exhausted. You know, probably screaming is not a good idea. There are people looking for you. Just a bit of uh, advice. <laughs> I actually got to meet the uh, Japanese and English voice actors, actresses for all the kids. Um, Anime Expo two years ago. Good. Considering technically three episodes ago, you were just willing to boop. Good. This is some weird looking bugs. But the, one of the kids said they saw them before. I wonder if it was maybe in like a book. Gone and... Oh my gosh, what's the other girl's name? It's not Hilda, is it? Gilda. Hilda Gilda. Gone. Oh, isn't that... um? Yeah...
It shows where they are. Hey, yo, can I get a pen like that? That's the same owl from... Whoa! That's the same owl from those books that they saw. It was like a stamp in the books. Ah. And then if you touch it, it shows the map. Oh. Would be so, oh, it's just okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen, eighteen, and I couldn't say that last one. Set out oh, zero two. Human. Mm. That's so cool. If you need my help, come to visit me. I am at a point. B zero six zero three two. B zero six zero two. And that's the code that's right there. Interesting. I kind of feel like Norman's still around. He's too much of a central character. Uh, don't get... Don't... What, yeah, you don't want them to wallow. And probably help her with her own emotions about the whole situation too. I don't remember seeing her. You bit. Ah, that's so. That's when I was. That's what I thought. Like they would notice seeing things. See anemones. Why would that be a... But why would the farm have that? So I wonder if we're going... If this season is... At least for the time being, um, we're going to be seeing, or, or they're going to be meeting this person. There's still a lot of want to know about this whole world. They haven't really built up too much about it in the anime, at least, at the very least. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Above them? Oh, and that's the thing they're running from in the beginning. Okay, thought so. Media res. Unless I'm wrong. Don't quote me on this. Oh, that's all the uh, bugs running away from it. Yep, okay. Okay. That is fucking nightmare fuel, though.
that screech noise. They almost look different though compared to the uh, those other things. So there's multiple races of these alien type things or whatever the hell they are. CG is a little rough, but I mean, it's CG. What do you expect? It's not freaking berserk levels of CG, so. Granted, that's also not a high hurdle. <laughs> that's not a high hurdle. A trap. Vines or roots. Gonna use himself as bait. Bait, but like, not in that kind of way. Norman. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> like I said, I think Norman is fine. I think he's just like, he was such a unique candidate that they set him aside. Oh, wait, it's one of them. Is it that big ass dude with a sword? Yep. Is that the one? That's not the one from the very first episode, is it? I couldn't read that fast enough. I don't know how you're gonna outrun those, dude. Are we, we're not going to lose a ray already, right? There's no way. This feels like a bad idea. Just a slight bad idea. Yeah, she wasn't looking too hot, so I'm assuming just exhaustion? Blood loss? Oh, infected. Their top two best. Basically, out of the fight right now, Ray's running. Nani? I can understand being cautious. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, that wasn't a smile. That's a smile. <laughs> it looked like a smile from far back, and then they... Watch out for that tree. Okay, yo, not gonna lie. Um, You hound dogs, or whatever the hell you are, you, you, you kind of suck. 
You wouldn't think you would have caught him? Oh, look at that scenery. That was a cool... That was a cool shot. Yeah, but now he's trapped on both sides. It's so weird. Same thing, exhaustion? <laughs> it's one of them? That was not a normal anatomy. Is there a faction that's rebelling against them? I have no idea what's going on. I love it. <laughs> All right, so it is part of the same. Uh, can someone do a, a quick recap? I don't remember what happened to Ray's ear, why that's bandaged. Because I don't remember him cutting off his ear. I know, I remember Emma doing it. For some reason, I don't remember what happened to his ear or why he has that bandage on it. And the second question, where are you? I'm assuming we're probably going to get the name of this race. Bell. <laughs> Making food? Okay, never mind. Uh, so it's that good, good that girl. Is she blind? No, I think that's a lady. Look, the lines on the neck, probably signifying age. The lines on the throat kind of makes it seem like she's older. It could just be her body. Who knows? Who this show, man. Hi. Sanju. Oh, there's so much. Ah. So, uh, okay, so I'm assuming that there's like a fort, or there's a faction. Akuma. Oh, Akuma's devil. Oops. 
They're not going to end the episode here, are they? Mm. All right. Let me see this ending. You know, I kind of like this. They didn't do, like, they had enough action, suspense going on for the first episode. This is a great reintroduction, well, reintroduction to the series, I guess you could say. Oh, there was just so much that just happened right there. Yeah, you show Norman again. Of course, you're definitely going to have to have him around anymore. Are we going to get an ending scene? No. Damn. All right. No, for a series that I haven't seen in quite a while, like I said, almost two years. What did it air? Was it winter? Was it winter of last year? Was it exactly a year ago? I feel like it was... I feel like it was earlier. I'm probably completely wrong. But for something that we haven't seen in a while, and I actually haven't seen this in probably a few months, at least the um, the first season... Um, because I wa rewatched it with my roommate. He hadn't seen it at the time. Um, this was a good, fair, very good first episode back into the series. Um, I'm, I'm really curious. Like, I, okay, so my prediction, prediction time. Those demons are. There are a faction of demons who are who are opposed to this this authoritarian like style. Um, where they control everything, um, and that, that there's this big, big, big boss, big honcho at the top, um, who they were even saying, it's like, I remember they were getting these kids' brains for this certain event that was happening, um, and I guess these guys are against it. So I'm curious as that, that and so it's like almost like a, like a slight civil war or like, or like a rebellion against them. Who knows, but I am curious. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video, um, because I got more stuff to react to today. And I want to go hurry up and uh, react to those things because Thursdays are going to be a little bit, or Wednesdays are going to be a little bit busy. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit busy for me as well. Um, just judging from the schedule and seeing if there's going to be more, who knows. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the second, uh, the first episode of the second season of The Promised Neverland. I'm glad it's back and I'm really curious as to see what we're going to see more about the world, because absolutely we're going to know more about the world outside of just the farm. Now that we're outside of the farm, we're going to see more of the world and everything that's going on with it, and I'm really looking forward to that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.